Hey guys, Sonday here bringing you another audio commentary and yeah, today I'm going to bring you Gosu Gamers Replay of the Week number 7. This is a PvT game on Andromeda and we do have Ares spawning as the blue Terran in the top left position and in the bottom right position, I'm going to completely slaughter this name. So we have Gayungdu. I don't know how to say it actually, but I'm just going to call him Guy. So we have Guy the Protoss player versus Ares the uh, Terran player. So PvT action cross position um, on Andromeda. So this should be a lot of fun. And yeah, Andromeda is a map that I really grew to love. Like literally, I play on this map more than I <laughs> play on any other map. Between this and Coliseum, that's like, I, those are like those, those are basically the maps that I play on. Uh, I just really like them. They make for some really late game, macro game, really fun games here. So it, um, Guy's going to set up the pylon in his own base, so we're not going to see any cheese, and <laughs> probably a good thing because a cheesy replay of the week probably wouldn't be the most fun thing to watch. But anyways, before this gets too far into it, I just want to do a couple shout-outs. I want to do a shout-out to, obviously, GosuGamers.net. Great site. One of my favorite sites to go and check up on the news. Uh, one of my routine um, stops, I guess you can say, when I'm on the, when I'm on the internet. And uh, one of my routine checks to check up on the news and the articles. I really like it. And then, obviously, to Vilda and Lord Weird to giving me the opportunity to do the replay of the week. Hopefully, I'll do a good job. Uh, probe, scouting probe going out for Guy. It looks like he's going to send it to the bottom, top right position, which is indeed the wrong position. And now we see the barracks going up for Ares. So Ares uh, going to play very, very standard TVP. And uh, yeah, just all around standard build orders from both players. Refinery now warping in. So right now his options are open. And um, so now the assimilator is warping in as well. Ares is going to send his scouting SCV to the bottom left, which is indeed the wrong position as well. So neither player um, having too much luck with their scouting units. Probe going to come across here. And really, uh, Ares wants to keep this scouting probe alive as long as possible. The longer he can keep it alive, the better it can de delay his opponent's tech tree, as well as uh, he's going to know exactly what his opponent is doing. So really, PVT, the key is uh, you want to keep that scouting probe alive as long as you can. Ares is now... Um, Realizing he sent his SCV to the wrong position, uh, rerouting it to the bottom right, which will indeed be the correct position. Cybernetics Core now warping in. And Guy doing a fairly decent job so far of keeping his scouting SCV out. One, the factory is going up now. And yeah, one uh, SCV on the gas. So we are simply going to be seeing a one fact in Expo here from Ares. Such a common TVP build. build. And now it's up to uh, Guy to counter this. Probably a double fact or not a double fact, sorry, a double expand is what we'll see from him. Scouting SCV is now in, and he's uh, not going to be too surprised by what he sees. Goon Rage is updating, so upgrading, so we could be seeing some early pressure here from um, from Guy with some Dragoons before the Siege Tank pops out. That is a possibility, although with the distance between their maps, um, or the distance between their camps, uh, their starting positions, I don't know uh, how, much, how effective the pressure with the early Goons would be after all. All right, so Marine's kind of standing on this ramp. So Guy has uh, came back down the ramp with the probe. He didn't want to lose it. I'm surprised he's, he's just going to kind of chill there and make see if his Terran, his Terran opponent does push out, which uh, I don't think is going to happen because I feel that Guy's going to, or Ares is going to li line right up for into the command center. Machine Chop now warping in. So, yeah, very standard game. One Goon coming across the map. He's going to try to put some pressure on. I don't think it's going to be too effective. Tank will be out soon enough. Two SCVs actually pushing across the map here. So, uh, Ares might be up to something. Not sure exactly what he's doing with those SCVs. Um, he's going to try to... This Dragoon's going to real, run right into him. He's going to be able to pick off one and uh, maybe two. But he's going to try to maybe use these both as a scouting tool. Um, not exactly sure. I'm... I'm kind of surprised why he sent two, just not one. Probably figuring one would die on the way, and that's exactly what he's figuring. So he's going to be able to get another scouting probe in, and he's just going to realize that he's facing very simple tech. Robotics facility has not went up yet, so we don't know if uh, Guy's going to go for the Reaver or for the uh, or for the OBS. Command Center now warping in. So yeah, one fact in Expo, and I'm expecting a double expand, which is exactly what we are seeing here. Guy's uh, throwing up his natural expansion. He's probably going to pump out some goons and then expand again. Exactly what you want to do in, in uh, PVT when your Terran opponent does one, one fact in Expo. Or you don't exactly have to double expand. You can be aggressive, but on a map like Andromeda where the Terran can so easily bunker up, I don't know if uh, that would really be the best of choices. 
So tank out, so uh, just kind of control his ramp, bunker up for a little bit, build out before pushing um, pushing out. And um, yeah, a couple more goons coming across the map here. And he's got, I don't think, too, uh, yeah, he's probably not going to have too much luck putting pressure on. Siege mode's probably up, almost upgraded here. And then as soon as siege mode, there goes all the luck of the goons. Robotics facility now about to warp in. No sign, we, we won't know for a second here if he's going to try to go for the reaver or obs. I'm thinking obs, a reaver would be... Uh, it's going to be kind of late. Although his opponent did go for a one factor expo, he would have two bases to fly around and try to do some reaver harassment. But I'm feeling OBS just because of the cross position and he already t took his Nexus expansion. Another factory going up with the engineering bay as well. Uh, Barracks going to be using it as a scouting utility. We could... Um, also to be able to shoot up the ramp if the Terran does push out and try to put up a contain. That is a possibility here. It's not too late to uh, rule that out. And the observatory is now warping in. Yeah, so obs are going to be out. And it's very key that guy keeps his first ob alive. You really don't want to lose it. It's like, uh, I mean, really, it can really kill you. Missile turrets are out. So guy or Ares is right now safe from a DTs. that possibly what he's fearing, but I don't think so. Also, it does, obvious, obviously, missile turrets do help with um, defending from reaver harassment. But yeah, the ob, it's really, like I said, the first ob, you have to keep it alive. That is really the only eye you have for a while. Like right now, his scouting probe dive died, and you don't have another scout until you get your obs out. So losing that first ob, and then your second ob has to walk all the way back across the map. So it really, really can kill you. Second gas warping in, he's going to need this for uh, High Templar as well. That will come into play soon enough. Citadel going up here. So, yeah, I think he's just going to simple tech very standard tech now taking the expansion is mineral only so he is double expanding after all he's not going to try to be aggressive which i agree with it's very very difficult to be aggressive on this map just because uh due to the fact that um terran can so easily bunker up they can have siege tanks like right where they are they can have them all the way up here then they can have them um obviously on the ground they can even put them up there sometimes i mean it's just ridiculous how easily a terran can bunker up on a map like this often uh why terran can win on a map like this just because they can last so long off three bases they can bunker up and if they can delay your fourth expansion long enough then uh you're going to be in a lot of trouble so stargate coming up here so we are going to see exactly what guy is up to in a moment here as soon as he um <laughs> lays down the next tech All right, so yeah, really just going to try to, he's tr trying to contain right here. He's just going to force, make sure these goons see if a, a scouting SCV comes out or and about. Or, um, yeah, so make sure um, Ares isn't going to expand or whatever. And also these goons right here will tell you if a uh, guy's going to push out or if Ares is going to push out. Excuse me. I'm really struggling with these names. Um, gateway placement, decent so far. Gateway placement and actually factory placement. One of the things I've noticed that the few times I do play Terran uh, when I play on this map, factory placement is actually pr a pretty difficult thing on um, to do on Andromeda. Armory warping in now here, so we are going to be, um, so we are going to see exactly what the Terran is up to so far. Vulture's coming out and Vulture's are going to get out and it's, these goons are going to see it, so he's going to have to prepare himself for Vulture harassment. Scouting Probe going to the bottom left. It, I think he's just checking for expansion. I wouldn't expect another expansion quite yet, although that is an option considering that the com command center has warped in, so actually an expansion in the bottom left would probably be a smart move. Vulture's coming in here, and I don't think these Vultures, they're not going to be able to get too far, but they are going to lay mines and um, slow down Guy's push if Guy was to push out. And is he taking the bottom left expansion? Not quite yet. Observer going down there as well. Um, <laughs> the, scout, the probe's eyes aren't good enough. He's going to have to send an observer down as well. But yes, Goon's coming over here. So I'm expecting an expansion here. And that's exactly.